Hi everyone, I have my Open Gate Quilt box for October and I cannot wait to see what the projects are this month. I'm kind of hoping for some fall fabric, so we'll see what we got. All right, so let's pop this box open and see what projects we have this month. All right, we always have the tissue over everything. Our paper that tells us everything that's in the box. We have our projects. We have the large project and the small project. And then it looks like we have a bunch of extras here. So let's take this all out of the box and set the box to the side so it's not in the way. All right, so let's just start working through everything. I'm gonna go in order on the paper. Let's start with project one. It is called Windswept, and this is the larger project. It is featuring piecing and applique, and this fabric line is by Clothwork. The background is Shadow Play in White by Maywood Studios, and we have a full color picture of what the project is going to look at look like. And isn't that beautiful? I'm not great at applique, but I'm gonna have to give this a try just because it is so pretty. So let's take a closer look at the fabric, and it definitely has a fall feel. I have this fabric line in my shop. I absolutely love it. So it is definitely something I will want to work on. So that is the picture, and let me show you the fabric. So we have like these green vines here. We have our background fabric. It's kind of a teal with like birds and fall foliage on it. A kind of more rust red and orange trees, definitely fall feeling. That teal again with those vines, the same as the green here. And then this fabric is the same as the fabric here, just with more of a navy background. But you see the birds and nests, it's so cute. And then we have this brown here that would be for the tree. This is a great project. I'm excited about it. It is not something like a pattern I would choose for myself because it's out of my comfort zone, but I think that's also what makes it fun because you can try these other things that you may not normally try on a smaller scale, get better at it, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so we have that project windswept, and I'm going to leave the fabric so you can still eye it and all its glory. And then project two is a notebook cover. All right, so it looks like we have a notebook in here, which will be fun because we already have something we can put the projects once finished on. So here is the notebook. It's just kind of a standard notebook, plain front, but lined paper, which is always helpful. And then we also got a little pencil here. It says opengatequilts.com our pattern, and that looks like we have a photo. So here's how the notebook cover will look finished. And it looks like we have like some fabric here, probably to stick some pencils or something in, so that's handy. And here is our fabric. Definitely has a fall feel too. Very, very pretty, I like it. All right, so there is that project. And then we have some extras over here. So our notion of the month is Heat and Bond Light. That is sewable. And I bet that we'll be using this on the applique here. So I love that the notions in this box are often things that we'll use for the projects. I've said that before. It comes in very handy. Then we have our Orfil thread. This is 50 weight in brown. This will help us stitch up this notebook beautifully. And then we have a lovely pattern by Monique from Open Gate. It's called Tree Stand. I love, love, love Christmas tree patterns. And this one definitely looks different than any I've, I've saw before. So definitely something I would keep in my pattern stash to work on at some point. And then it looks like here we have our pattern for windswept and stencil on the back for getting that gorgeous tree here. So everything we need to complete that project will only need to add in batting and backing for the main project and we got everything we need for the notebook project. 
I am personally really excited about this month's box. I love the fabric and the patterns. I will definitely make that notebook cover as well. It'll come in really handy because I have notebooks everywhere with notes of things I need to do, lists of stuff I want to accomplish. So definitely something I will use and it'll be nice to add into one of my purses for when I'm out on the run and come up with ideas and just need to write some things down. Tell me what you think about this month's box. And if you aren't subscribed but are interested in subscribing, go ahead and head to the description of this video. I have a link to her website so you can subscribe to this monthly box. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.